you go. Let's stand up. Be sure that nobody's coming in though. Are we ready yeah. to go? Are we ready? So let's go with our lip roll, which is make sure you have a hand over your mouth. Let's go. One, two, three, let's go. Yeah, that's it. That's it right there. Don't strain. Don't strain. I don't want you. Mm -mm. Let it be convenient for you. Yes. Everybody, you can't hide from me. I can see everybody. I can tell when you're doing it. You people that are small, you need to sit at the back. Sounds and be. Tiny, tiny things. <laughs> We don't need to sit. Let's go. What's your name? Okay. One minute more. Let's go. Okay, ready? We're going to do the uh, tongue roll. So if you have a deficiency, don't worry, just hum. But I'm, I'm not saying you should not attempt to. Some people just hum now, they squeeze them out to hum. Yes, you. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, let's go. Make an attempt. Make an attempt. Make an attempt. Make an attempt. Abraham, put a hand over your mouth. This battery is full of. Please ensure you're doing it right. If you have an issue doing it, come forward to me. Come. Do it. No, you are in front. Don't worry. Keep attempting. Keep attempting. Uh, guys, okay, wait, 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 wait. For the benefit of those who aren't able to do it, hmm? you, you begin to attempt it. Yeah? Drr, drr. I'm going to say Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Drill. Yes. Yes. Yes, drill, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. Yeah. You're getting it. Yes. No, 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 no. You have to attempt it. Yeah. Keep going, Puerto Rico. Everybody attempt it. Everybody can go on.
Okay, so I think we have um, some people here now. Hi, Sharon. Hi, how you doing? Okay, so go on with your um, warm up. Just go on with warm up. You can hear us, right? Can you hear me? Good, awesome. So we are on with the the dog pants right now. So just join in. Yes, dog pants. And show you're standing, cause I know you. Make sure you're standing. I knew it. I knew you were sitting. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Ah, ah, Chumaka. How can it be? Please, do not stop. If I did not tell you to stop. Okay, we need to go faster now. So now, no, 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 leave it, leave it, leave it. You don't need to change your tempo. So we're gonna do. <laughs> on that same tempo. Do you understand? So let's go. Now let me go where they swim. Where they walk out, now if you do this. This one. They will do two and rest. Well done. Yeah, let's go. Once you run out of breath, good for your breathing. Let's go. We all brushed our mouth, so don't worry. No smelly mouth here. Follow it. Yes. So you, you want to free yourself. You don't have to cough out. No, 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 no. You don't cough it out. So what you do is you do your lip roll, your tongue roll, take some water, gag. You know that thing? It's going to come out. You don't have to cough it out. Yes. <laughs> yes. But you know why? Some people can do it and get away with it. Some people do it and it will cause tension around there. So if you eventually do that, just ensure to do some more little. Yes. It's just like someone slamming the guitar. I mean, very tender um, strings of the guitar. Do you understand? Yes. So you just need to also rub it again. That's what you do when you do your lip roll and your tongue roll. Do you understand? Oh, good. Are we ready? All right, let's do this. One, two, three, four, go.
I need you all to join in as you come in. Join in, join in. So we are on the dog pants again. Okay, okay, cool. I got a message. All right. So it's fine. Yeah. Sharon, you can see me, right? Would you, who permitted you to go online? Who permitted you to go online? You will come and meet me in this place. You will come and meet me here. Let's go. Okay, that's enough. Let's catch our breath. One minute and let's go on. Let's catch our breath. So, on a low octave. flat. Good. For me, wait, wait, wait. Guys, let me hear you. Again. Uh -uh. Are you? I said guys. One, two, three, let's go. No, 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 no. Low active. Let me see. I want to see how low it can be. That's 
that's it. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. Good. So we're starting from you, and then we'll keep going before the ladies will join in. Auto singers, let me hear. No, don't worry, you can't do it. Look at it. No, it's not. A... That one is high. I'm talking of the lower one. So the male will start first. Are you ready, guys? One, two, let's go. So what we are doing now, we are humming with melodious notes, okay? Yeah. Again. Male only. One more time and we'll take it out. Take it up. Auto singers joining. Let's go again. I don't want you bending. Good. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. We are doing welcome, DJ Saskia Charity. So, if you're an alto singer, just join in. Alto singers and tenor singers, let's go. Soprano singers will now join. Let's go, take it up. Come 
come here, come here. What? Am I am I calling you? Are you the only person here? Come here. If you're tired, you stop. Well, you can stretch yourself. Stretch yourself. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Two more times, and that's it. We go. yourself to know if you are singing flat. Do it again, do it again. Five more times, do it, stay here. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. you have Bounce, go! Hey! 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 
Okay. Yes, when you do this, you're actually exercising. Let's go. Some people don't know how to sing and move their bodies. They always go flat because they're not used to it. Na, 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 na. Ensure that your notes are consistent. Don't let them be shaky. No shaky notes, no shaky notes. No shaky notes, no shaky notes. Hey, hey. Antonia, you need to move your body. Move, bounce, move, bounce, move, bounce. Move, bounce, move, bounce, move, bounce, move, bounce. Come on, yeah. We're going up. Are you ready? Yes. Come on. I want us to project, project. Come on. Na 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 We're taking it up. Thank you. That's it. You can spread out if you feel too tight. Come on. Come forward. You know I'm talking about. Hello, ma'am. So I believe. Um, I think so. I'm going to be in that huge crowd because you obviously have some moral support. 
So the brighter color your shirt is, is the more likely I am to pick you. Who is black? I see two people in yellow, so I'm going to pick the one in yellow with hair down. And the one covering up. She's covering up and leading. Hi, mom. He's waiting to hear your wealth of knowledge. Good evening, ma. So what is a rough riff? And it's OK if you if, don't quite exactly get it right. If I get the spelling properly, R-U-N-S and riff, R-I-F-F. Let me just say, to my own understanding, I may not be correct, but um, to my own understanding, it means that for every um, successful person, there must always be a challenge. As in, run represents your. <laughs> Runs represent the day to day activities, how you, you know, struggle to make it in life. And then the reef, the challenges that will come your way. That is the way. <laughs> Hi, ma'am. So uh, I'm I'm going to say um, Reeves Reeves are a um, couple of skills together, put together, running a skill. Let's say a chromatic skill, for example, and then other types of skills. But when you run it, it's when you go further. Like um, you do these skills over and over again. Um, for example. Do re mi fa sol la ti do ti la so fa mi re do re mi fa sol la ti do ti la so fa mi re do or I tend to mix these um, notes. That's when I make it runs. So I I do it some couple of times, touching different notes, minor notes, major notes, and then to make something up. I'm Abraham. 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 So he, Abraham was actually partially right. So there are a sequence of notes that you put together that it, within the scale, normally the pentatonic scale, and they are put together in a very swift sequence in the rhythm of the music, right? And it, it is a skill set that most singers do acquire to have, uh, to be able to do. And most people think that they can't do it or they're not very good at it. And it really is quite simple. It's like any other part of singing. In order to become good at it, you must practice, right? You must practice it. And there is there are ways to hone that craft. There are There's some people who have the aptitude to learn it very quickly and can do it. Um, because their ear is very trained uh, in terms, uh, musically, that is, and that they can put the notes together very quickly and they can grab them very quickly. Others require a little bit more effort and more work. It doesn't mean that you're any less gifted. It just means that um, you have to train your ear and your brain to hear music a particular type of way that allows you to put those sequences together and make them work. Okay, so the other question that I was asking is what is the difference between a run and a riff? Does anybody know the difference? Because I think we use them quite interchangeably. We use them together. Does anybody, anyone, anyone want to take a stab at what the difference is between the two? Don't let me pick you. <laughs> Bottom 
volunteer and get it wrong. Available, here I am, Lord. Use me, oh Lord. Yes. One more time. You cheated. <laughs> you cheated. I caught you. Okay. I am available. I am available. Here I am, Lord. Use me, oh Lord. No, that. I am available. I am available, here I am, Lord, use me, oh Lord. Okay, so can I ask a question, Abraham? What do you find challenging about that? What's the difference between singing it, or not necessarily challenging, but what do you find the difference is between singing? I, I find it more difficult to sing without my vibrato because um, it, it actually makes me want to discipline myself and do something out of my comfort zone. So it's um, a bit choky. It's not easy for me. When, when you hit the higher notes, do you find it more challenging? Yes, yes. Depending on the yeah. key I am on. Depending on the key I sing on. Because most of us use vibrato to cheat. Oh, amen. amen. <laughs> we use our vibrato to cheat. When we're running out of air or when the note is high, we kill ourselves with vibrato to distract. Right? But when you're able to hit those high notes without the vibrato, it means that when you do implement vibrato back, it actually accentuates the song and it doesn't become a distraction. Has anybody ever heard somebody who sings, Oh Lord, I'm a... it's very distracting. My <laughs> <laughs> brother is so heavy, like it's good. Or you can get somebody else who sings with a very fast vibrato. So, my, um, so much reason, or so many reasons for me to have done this. Hmm? Well, I felt it um, so strong that there are some people who need to have this experience once every year. And for some people, it's, um, it's a once in a lifetime experience for them. I know that so many faces that are here now didn't even think of this last year. We had different faces here last year. And for some of the people who came last year, they could, I mean, they confessed to the fact that it was life transforming for them. I had lots of reason to cancel this. I mean, I had too many reasons. Some people know I'm talking about. I had too many reasons. Are you talking of the inflation of price of things? Too many things went on. I, I really didn't have to do this, but I'm saying this because I don't know how many people here have dreams. You cannot afford to give up on your dream. That's the reason why some of you are here and you know what I'm talking about. Do you understand? You know what I'm talking about. Some of you that are here, you know what I'm talking about. It is because I don't want some of you to give up on your dreams. That is the reason you are here. If I want to make money, I'm just going to put up what I do out there and get people to pay to learn from me directly. I don't have to do all of this. So every single thing you hear here, please hold on to it. You want to look back at this day 10 years from now, five years from now, and be glad that you learned something tangible because I put this together. It might look small right now to some people, but this is going to be a life-transforming thing for some of us. It doesn't have to be everybody, you know? This gathering can be because of one or two persons. Maybe someone online. 
and not someone here. I'm just saying maybe. But it is your choice to take it and use it. So I don't want anybody leaving this place and going back to where they used to be musically. You learned a lot from Patricia Shelley. I'm sure you already learned something from me. Go back there and do much better than you've ever done before. If you want to record a song, you can ask me how to do this. And I could direct you or tell you this is how you go about it. Tomorrow, some prominent people are going to be here. Facilitators, gospel artists. Learn everything you can. Connect with dignity. Connect with dignity. Please. Don't connect and start looking for free things. I know what I'm talking about. Connect the right way. Floroka is going to be here for four hours, 30 minutes. For singing, I mean for composition and songwriting. Trust me, if you get your songwriting correctly, you cannot miss it when it comes to your, um, what you put out there. You need to get it. So many people can't write. They just want to buy a song from someone who has written, or they want to steal. So open up your mind. Songwriting is a huge deal. People pay good money to learn songwriting and composition. People pay a lot. I'm serious. So don't misuse this opportunity. The music director of Loud Official was just here. He came to see us and say hello whilst um, Patricia Shelley was on. He's going to be here for the first class of group singing and voice classification, which is a lot of problem, which is a huge deal for some singers. It's a huge deal for even music directors in their churches. You know when a soprano singer that is supposed to be an alto singer is arguing with him? Ah, MD, I will leave this choir if, if, you tell me I'm a, if you tell me I'm an alto singer. I will leave. I'm a soprano singer, sir. I've seen people do that. And they just leave the choir because they told them, you, see, this is a place where you learn such. You're an alto singer and you are told here you sing alto. Just take it like that. Don't bother. Okay? So learn all you have to learn. Grasp it all, and it will really help you. So if you're going to be here for the next Singers Boot Camp, it should be on a different level musically for you all, for anybody that will be here, anyone. OK? I don't need you to promise me. I need you to promise yourself that you're going to do much more with all the information you get from this Singers Boot Camp. And I'm trusting everyone also listening to me online that you're going to do the same. All of these things we're learning, everything, all the information we're getting right now, I'm very sure and I trust God that every one of us will use it judiciously. <laughs> am I right, Deji? Sharon, Saskia, Fumilayo, am I correct? Awesome. Amen. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. So that's just it. Today's arrival, and um, some people came in from work, I guess, and all of that. So if you're tired, you can go. Now.